Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to new video. So what we are actually installing tonight are new pedals. Now the pedals that come on the STI are very nice. I'll show you them in a second. I'm sure most of you are familiar with them, but I always wanted something a little bit nicer, a little bit, I guess a little bit more discreet. Uh, the silver really just doesn't go with the car. And I wanted something a little bit more, I guess me to, to fit my style. Uh, so I came across these. These are by SRP Racing. They're billet aluminum, very, very nice. Um, you know, they're, they're not plastic, they're metal. So it's a high quality piece. Um, and as you can tell on the throttle, there is a little bit of an extension. And why there's an extension there is it allows you for easier and more efficient heel towing. Um, so you're able to kind of keep your foot on the extension here and reach the clutch uh, fairly easily. The STI in general is a pretty easy car to do heel towing in, but with that added extension there, it's just going to be that much easier uh, and it's just going to make the driving experience that much better. Um, so you can get these in a few different colors. I got them from Subi Speed. Um, you can pick them up in black, which I got. They also have them in silver and they also have them in gold. I actually almost got gold. I don't know why, but I was kind of drawn to it. But ultimately, I decided to stick with black and uh, keep it simple, like I always say. Um, it includes all the hardware that you're going to need. Now, these just go directly over the factory pedals. Um, you know, you don't take anything off or anything like that. So you will be drilling into the factory pedals. Not a big deal, but you just want to make sure that you put them in the right place uh, so they're on there nice and firm. So let's go take a look at these stock pedals um, so you can get an idea of what they look like. Part of the dirt here, this is my daily driver. I drive it every day, so it gets a little bit dirty down here. Uh, but as you can see, these are the stock pedals that come on the STI. I'm pretty sure they come on the WRX as well. Uh, I don't think they change between models, but this is what you get. So they are pretty decent, uh, but you know, they're not the prettiest thing in the world. They are metal. Um, they got these little rubber uh, inserts there for added grip. But I think with the nice billet aluminum pieces on there, it's going to be really nice. Um, you can just buy the throttle pedal if you want to just get that, uh, or you can get the full set like I decided to get. They're not too bad price-wise. I think they're a little over a hundred bucks. I, I want to say like 130, I forget, something like that. Um, so I will tell you if it's worth it in the end, but we're going to get started on the install. Uh, the easiest one to actually do is the dead pedal right here. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead drill straight in. And what I'm gonna do is actually use the corners of the dead pedal to drill right in. You don't have to do any nut and bolt or anything like you do on the uh, clutch and the brake. Um, so I'm gonna get started here because that is the easiest one in my personal opinion. So let me go ahead and get the dead pedal, get the hardware needed, and let's get that on. So we are down in the driver foot well. We're gonna start in the dead pedal as I mentioned. And you can see the little inserts right here, 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 and here. Um, so we're gonna use the top two, and the bottom two. Now I do recommend removing the um, carpet in here or the mat, whatever one you're using, because uh, you want to make sure that it sits flush and doesn't get caught uh, in the actual carpet. So remove that for easier install. As you can see, there is a slanted edge here. It's slanted here, so it's not going to line up perfectly because it's not the same shape, but bear with me. It's a little hard to work in this area. It's very, very small. Uh, but you just want to line up the top two holes and the bottom two holes with the little black inserts. And the hardware that we're going to use are the little self taps that it comes with. You have four of them. Um, so we're just going to go ahead, drill them in and go from there. So the dead pedal installation is complete. Very simple. It's on there very well. It literally moves the carpet, so no problems there. Very, very grippy. So that's really nice if your shoes are wet or the soles of your shoes are you know worn down or something like that and you need a little bit of extra grip. Um, so these are really nice. It's actually kind of sharp. So. Now let's start on the throttle pedal. Uh, that one's a little bit easier because we can actually take that out of the car. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. You can kind of see right back here. Uh, there's a little nut. I think that's a 10 millimeter and then there's just a plug and then it comes right out uh, So we can do that one on the workbench these other two um, You actually have to do them right here a little bit harder since you actually have to use the uh, Screws and nuts as opposed to the throttle which is just like the dead pedal where you use the um, Self taps. Let's go ahead remove the throttle pedal get it on the workbench and get it installed Come on, 
So my mistake, there's actually two 10 millimeter bolts or nuts. Uh, there's one down in the corner and then one in the top right corner. So, so I got those two removed. It was kind of hard to do on camera because it's really not much space here. And I unplugged the wire to it so it's ready to come out now. All right, so the throttle pedal is out of the car. You can see the two bolt holes where I was talking about, one right there and the one on the top right. They're both 10 millimeter, as I mentioned. Uh, and I also know this one is slotted, so I'm wondering if you can kind of position it a little bit more. Uh, but let's go ahead, clean up this pedal first. I'm just using some Geom Prep and wiping it down. And then um, we could just place this right on here and use some self taps. Probably gonna do the same thing, the top four holes because um, it lines up with these as well. So let's go ahead, clean it up and get it installed. All right, so nice and simple. I just used the top two and the bottom two. Went in really well. It's in there extremely well. So you can kind of see, actually you can't see the top right one here because it's behind uh, the actual arm of the pedal. But you can see one right there, there, and there. So you just want to make sure that you're actually hitting the pedal. What I did was kind of line up the actual pedal with this side. So it's kind of flush and then just went for it. So, but before I install this back in there, let's go ahead install the clutch and the brake since this is out it'll give us a little bit more space to work now these are a little bit different since uh, i think the reason why they use a different method to install these is because these are actually rubber um, so i'm not sure i should have felt the other ones on the um, dead pedal and the throttle um, i think it's the same material so i'm not sure why they just don't use um, self taps uh, but either way what they want you to actually do is drill through the pedal and use the screw and, and hold nut in the back. So these fit the actual pedal very, very well. Uh, but the one thing you wanna note, I was going to use the bottom one and the top one, uh, but I realized on the top, the arm back here, I don't know if you can really see, there's no room to actually get a nut back there. So I started doing some thinking, and what I think I'm going to do is use this one right here and this one right here. Um, just because it's straight through the actual metal pedal and I have access on either side to get the nut on. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually take a Sharpie and mark those out and then I'm just going to drill them out. All right, so let's get to drilling. You use a 1 8 inch drill bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drill straight through the holes that I just made. I also put down a towel here because there's gonna be some aluminum shavings and I don't wanna get that in the carpet. Um, so I'm just putting down an old microfiber here. So I got the holes drilled out. Uh, I used the smaller drill bit to get the hole started. Now I'm using a 3 16 to make them a little bit bigger. So now we can actually get the screw through.
go guys, install is complete, they feel great. Uh, the actual little extension on the throttle is fantastic. Has a nice little extra feel, so when you're actually braking hard, um, you can actually blip the throttle and do some nice heel towing. One thing to note, as you can kind of see down here, uh, what I did was actually trim that extra plastic there just to make sure the pedal wasn't hitting. But if you have it positioned correctly and up far enough, it won't hit that. Mine wasn't hitting it, but I just wanted to make sure, so I just notched out the plastic a little bit right there just to be certain because I felt like the corner of the pedal over here um, was coming really, really close. And, you know, you want to be able to have full throttle uh, when you are driving. You don't want to have any issues. So there we go. It looked beautiful. I really like the feel of them. I was just kind of messing around with it, getting uh, used to the feel. And they're really, really grippy. It's going to be nice once I have actual shoes on. I just have flip-flops on now. So I'll get a better feel for it uh, when I am driving the car. And I'll definitely report back and let you know how I feel about it. Uh, but overall, I'm really, really happy with how they look and how they feel. Install was pretty simple, but obviously you don't have much space to work with the clutch and the brake, uh, but the dead pedal and the actual throttle was really, really easy to install and get it positioned right. So yeah, guys, that's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions at all, be sure to ask them below. I'll leave a link below in the description as well for these if you are interested. I definitely suggest them. That's a really nice look. So if you are looking to pick up some nice pedals, I would definitely pick these up. So, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Again, any questions, ask them below. In the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.